Yo guys, what's up? Scammer Involved here. And today I'm bringing you guys a video on how to change Windows XP to Windows Vista using Vistamizer. So this is something that I used uh, a lot um, back, you know, uh, before I even had my own computer. Basically on the family, we had like a family computer in our office room, so I would, I installed this on there probably like seven or eight years ago uh, to make it look like Windows Vista because we had only had Windows XP and this was when you know Windows 7 was coming out and everything and I found out oh you can make it look like Windows Vista which you know Windows Vista uh, looks pretty similar to Windows 7 and it looks a lot better uh, to some people compared to Windows XP I actually like the look of Windows XP but I also do like the look of Windows Vista but uh, uh, back then I didn't even like XP at all. I think it looked really bad and That was because on our computer we had it set to the old theme where it was just you know all the basic stuff and everything so Yeah, it was like that. Uh, sorry if you hear my dog barking outside. That's really annoying But yeah, he's barking. Sorry if you guys didn't hear that but Yeah, so um, they don't have any website up anymore. I think there used to be one but it, it went down so you have to go to this website so if you just search uh, I also have this in the link in the description if you search Vistamizer the the top link will be Vistamizer download and you could go on here and when you click download here uh, you could get the expansion package is Vistamizer I just got Vistamizer so this is the website I use I'll have this uh, link in the description for you guys if you want to download it uh, directly from here but yeah so once you have that downloaded, it's going to be Vistamizer. You see, it's got a nice little uh, Windows Vista install thing right there, the little disk next to it and everything. Uh, this is version 4.3.1.0. Uh, I think this is the actual version that I had used back then. I'm not sure. But yeah, there's a lot of different versions to this. So it was updated quite a bit, actually. And it's an EXE, so it's pretty easy. You just download it. So it's not that big of a download. Uh, let me actually see how big it actually was. So yeah, it's 19 megabytes. It's nothing huge, so it should be pretty fast to download. So yeah, uh, you, have, you use this on Windows XP. That's what it's meant for. So you go on Windows XP and you just open it. Run it. And now you're going to choose you know, your language and stuff like that. Here's the welcome screen. Uh, it's all just through here, so it's it's very easy next agree to the terms and conditions and then you know you have all the features and stuff like that then you're gonna do um, I agree normal um, I'm just gonna do the normal installation and then make sure everything uh, is all checked up here if you want the full complete experience or you could just check full you know you could choose different types but I'm just gonna choose full then once you click install it's going to make a system uh, restore point and everything for you so if something goes wrong uh, which most likely nothing should go wrong with this but if something does go wrong you can just go back to that restore point and everything will be exactly how it was to the point of you opening the installer so yeah it's all, all automated it's just going to start uh, extracting files I'm going to show the whole installation progress for anyone who if any of you guys are thinking of doing this and you just want to see what it's going to do so yeah it's just going to extract everything and once it has everything extracted uh, it's going to start yeah there you go now it's modifying everything you see it's CPL it's modifying all the you know control panel menus and everything it's it's just about an exact copy of Windows Vista. Of course, some things are different because different because they're totally different builds of Windows. Uh, but they are. St it is still Windows, so a lot of it's pretty much exactly the same. And it actually does add some features. I think this one adds gadgets too. So you can have like the clock gadget. The uh, I think there was a calendar gadget. And I think there was a weather gadget too. But I'm not sure if the weather gadgets work anymore because of the service. Uh, that was being used for the weather gadget. I don't think that uh, that service is still up that Microsoft used. But I have heard of people um, 
manually changing, I think, what service it used. They, they went into it and changed it to use something else, so you could still use it. But yeah, gadgets, I, I mean, most people don't really use them. But it's still cool to have, especially if you're running Windows XP. I mean, a, lo a lot of people use this, I think, people who were stuck running Windows XP. I know a lot of people say it's like a dead OS now, but I, I don't think it is. I think Windows XP is, is still very, it's pretty useful for a lot of people. A lot of people just, you know, don't have the money upgrade. And I think this is, this was one of the great things. I mean, back then when I only had Windows XP, this was the best, the best thing ever to use. Uh, it, it made everything look so nice. It added so much stuff, you know, but I did have to uninstall it after because uh, my parents were like, you know, I, I didn't want to install something that changed the whole thing and then they go to use the computer and it looks stupid. I mean, not stupid, it looks like all different. And they're like, what? To them, it would look weird and just out of place. Yeah, now it's changing everything. You see all the program names and all that stuff right there. Now it's checking system files, Internet Explorer files, making Internet Explorer look all different, looking, I guess, newer, you would say. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll put, um, since this is still going, I'll put on screen right now uh, a difference between Windows XP, like a, a, a side by side, uh, not XP, I mean Windows, uh, Windows Vista versus Vista, I mean Vista Miser, <laughs> not Windows versus Vista versus uh, Vista. Okay, and now we can see it changed the background. So, um, some things, most things haven't really changed yet because I, you have to restart. So, um, he has a donation thing here. Uh, looks like he might still have a website up, but he has a PayPal. So, if you guys really do appreciate it, donate. But I'm guessing that most people that use this won't be donating because they don't want to, uh, you know, use it. So, I mean, they don't want to upgrade. So they don't have the money to upgrade, so they don't want to do that, you know? Yeah, next. Now, you can choose to reboot now or later. Um, you know, you see nothing's really changed, except some stuff might change. So you're going to choose reboot now. It's going to restart. And uh, nothing's going to be different when you're logging off or anything. You see it changed some machine group policies and stuff. And now it's going to shut down. And I think it, I think, uh, it will change the XP logo. When it first start? no it doesn't okay yeah it still stays Windows XP at the first startup I think after a second startup it will change that but I'm not completely sure and as of if if you have like a really slow computer running Windows XP I'm not sure I think this might have affected performance a little bit when I installed it because it does add like some animations and stuff but overall, you should be fine. It won't really affect it anything any, that that much at all. Because all you're really doing is changing the visual style. So if your visual style with Windows XP, oh there you go. Now you got the Windows uh, Vista startup, Windows Vista welcome or login screen. I don't have a login on here. So yeah, here you go. Now it's all vistamized. I guess you could say it looks. It looks uh, pretty nice. You see, I think uh, on Windows Vista, the the button right here, it kind of poked out a little bit. But as you can see here, it's just cut off, kind of. So if I'm looking at a XP, I mean Vista, yeah, it kind of pokes out a little bit on real Vista. And then here's the menu. The menu is a little bit different too. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect replica of it. But yeah, you got where you can have all your programs on the side here, and then you got this. So it's it's pretty much just similar layout to that. Um, this stuff down here in your little uh, taskbar. Uh, when you open programs, I'm not sure if it changes that. The highlighting, they got that too. Yeah, you open that. You see how it's like it's got the nice uh, Vista thing, how it's highlighted. And then uh, this change too, it changes the, um, that. So if we go to the control panel, this this is where you'll see a lot of change too. There you go, yeah. See, it's got the total 
Windows Vista look. Now it isn't it isn't arrow, so there's nothing that's transparent. Uh, that's that's probably one of the big differences a lot of you guys are noticing right now. We have taskbar, uh, start menu. That's all changed. System, display. So we go to display. It's all like this. Um, if you change this, it'll it'll change it uh, because that's a theme that they have. So you don't want to change that. Desktop appearance screensaver still X. Uh, oh no, it is Vista. What does Vista screensaver? Um, the buttons and everything. It's changed to Vistamize. Arrow and uh can actually change it to arrow xp so yeah if it actually is taxing you can change that but i'm not sure what it, yeah it doesn't really change anything at all uh but yeah java all that stuff in here it's all changed so if we go to uh, where is it yeah i wanted to check power options power options is all changed so yeah it's really nice i'm not sure um uh, where if it is in this version where it might be in the extended version yeah it might be the extended version that they have gadgets yeah I'm not seeing any gadgets in here so it's most likely in the in the extended version that they did add gadgets yeah in this one there isn't too much added into it um, except you know animation stuff so let's go to that if I transfer a file go to my downloads actually let me just open up uh, where's my downloads this is a shoot um, I'll just go to Windows Explorer then I'll drag this up here downloads um, I don't really have that big that much files that are yeah I don't really have anything big enough I think we can just do this jerk yeah I don't have anything big enough to actually start the animation there is an animation when you drag stuff it'll show the Windows Vista version of it dragging uh, we could actually do this let's see if we could drag this stuff into the recycle bin we delete if we empty the recycle bin yes so yeah, it's still not showing it. I don't have enough files. I don't have a file big enough to actually get that animation to start. Uh, but yeah, it's just like Vista. You know how everything looks. It gives you a very nice. It gives you a updated theme compared to Windows XP. It looks a lot newer and everything. Uh, the video, the sound player, and everything should be different too. So we can actually check that out too with. Uh, Uh, with the default music. Oh yeah, no default music on here. Yeah, I don't have any default music on here because this is my one that I use for scammers. Um, yeah, I don't have any of that stuff. But yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys want to explore this further and look at more things about it, um, you know, folders and everything, it's just like that. You can check out uh, the link in the top of the description below uh, to the download uh, yeah but if you guys enjoyed this video and want me to do more videos like it which I actually plan on doing more um, yeah other than that I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time peace